great Rishi Medha told to King Surat, Kamupayhi Maharaja Saranam Parameshwarim Aradita Sayavananam Bhoga Swaraga Pavargata Kamupayhi Maharaja Saranam Parameshwarim O oh Lord, great King, you go under the refuse of Goddess. Aradita Sayavananam who is worshipped by all Bhoga Swaraga Pavargata and by her blessings, one gets all the type of enjoyments, heavens, and finally, emancipation. This is the greatness of Goddess Durga. One worships Goddess Durga, all the wishes and desires that one have gets fulfilled. One enjoys in this world like people enjoy living in heaven and eventually they get emancipation as well. The worship of Goddess Durga is very important for success in Kali Yuga. Worship of Goddess Durga is generally done in Navratris, which comes twice a year. Some people believe that it comes four times a year also. Right? But twice a year is for everyone. These nine days, twice a year, one can worship Goddess Durga. And if one does it twice a year, if you worship Durga Devi right now, till the next Navratha comes in October, November, your year will be good. Auspicious, beneficial, giving you gains, power, and all the things that one can desire is a known fact. It's something that I have realized over time by recommending it to many of my clients and students. Now to worship Goddess Durga, people read Durga Shaptashati. They read complete Shaptashati per day or there is an order in reading Shaptashati also. One who cannot read complete Shaptashati in one day, they can divide it into chapters and read it few chapters per day like that. They can read it over nine days as well. That depends on you know, the capacity of the person. So it is dependent on that. One, I have found that the chanting of Shaptashati Reading of Shaptashti can only be done by those people who have the capacity to handle the power. Because Devi is Sakti and whether you can channelize Sakti by yourself, in yourself or not, is something that is to be seen. That is to be understood first. So for people, I don't recommend reading Shaptashti right from the beginning. Shaptashti have six parts. Right? Kavach Aragala Kilak and the three Rahashyas. These six are called the Shadangas of Durga Shaptashati. To newcomers, I recommend that you read these six things for the first at least nine Navratris and after that you can read Durga Shaptashati also. In this setup, Kavach Aragala Kilak in this order, it can be read or Argala Kila Kavach in this order, it can also be read as per Chidambar Samhita. So the order differs as per opinion, but primarily Kavach Argala Kila is the order in which we read. And so Kavach Argala Kila is first read and then the three Rahasyas are read. And before that, multiple other procedures are also there that is followed, that can be followed. Today in this video, I will talk about Kilak. Now regarding Kilak, let's understand one thing. In the Tantra, there is a concept, there is this saying that, you know, mantras are there, it is envisioned by Rishis, created by Rishis, realized by Rishis, and it was given to the mankind for welfare. But with the advent of Kali Yuga and as the time passed by, some people having unsurplus approach some people having bad approach started misusing mantras for their benefit. To save the world from the forthcoming disaster, what Lord Shiva did, he did Keelan of all the mantras. Keelan is like you put the mantra in a box and put iron nails over it. This is called Keelan. Putting iron nails over something is called Keelan. So Lord Shiva have done Keelan of all the mantras and that is the particular reason that every mantra needs Utkeelan first. 
every mantra needs utkilan even the most popular gayatri mantra also needs utkilan and all the mantras need nyas as well nyas utkilan sapuddhar sapamochan these things are very essential parts of a mantra and if you are doing mantra without these things then remember the point that lord shiva have done kilan of all the mantras to render them ineffective so that people cannot misuse them right so the power of the mantra gets diminished so doing a mantra or doing any spiritual practice without utkilan is almost barren i will not say that it does not produce no result it produces no result at all this is not the case but the result is not the 100% it is 5 10 15% only that is the particular reason all the benefits etc told for the chanting of the mantra is not realized fully because utkilan is not done so kilak that i am going to talk about today is for the purpose of kilan so once you do the kilan of shaptashati in the set utkilan of shaptashati only after that reading shaptashati or chanting any mantra of goddess durga will be fruitful will be beneficial right for this in the shadangas of shaptashati there is a kilak stotram that is to be read before reading durga shaptashati for the utkilan now not only that this utkilan this kilak stotram have its own benefits also and it can be read independently at as well and some secret procedure is also given in this kilak stotra that also we will be discussing so first let's have a look at this kilak stotra this is the stotra now first of all you see above it is written om asya sri kilak mantra asya sivarishi anushtum chanda श्री महासरस्वती देवता श्री जगदंबा प्रत्युक्त सप्तशती पाठंगत्न जपे विग सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू ओम अस्य श्री कीलक मंत्र से शिव ऋषि ऋषि गिव्स यू नॉलेज डू योर हैंड लाइक दिस टच युअर फोर हेड शिव ऋषि ऋषि टच युअर फोर हेड अनुष्टुप छंद छंद यू विल प्रोनाउंस फ्रॉम युअर माउथ टच युअर लिप्स अनुष्टुप छंद श्री महासरस्वती देवता देवता यू हैव इन युअर हार्ट टच युअर हार्ट श्री जगदंबा प्रत्युक्त सप्तशती पाठ अंगत्न जपे विग हैव वॉटर इन अ स्मॉल कप फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट हैंड पुट अ स्पून इन द कप एंड टेक वॉटर इन योर राइट हैंड से श्री जगदंबा प्रत्युक्त सप्तशती पाठ अंगत्न जपे विग एंड लाइक दिस पुट द वॉटर ऑन द ग्राउंड इट से श्री जगदंबा प्रत्युक्त टू प्लीज गॉड एज जगदंबा सप्तशती पाठ अंगत्न i am reading a limb of durga shaptashati jabe viniyoga and i am doing viniyoga so this flowing the water this way is called viniyoga then om namas chandikaye right salutations to devi chandika then it starts kilak start with om vishuddha gyana dehaya trivedi divya chakshuse shreya prapte nimittaya namaha somarda dharane ओषधम्रिंचिदाप्यमुच्चाटनाक महादेव यो निस्कीलाम स्नेप्यमस्त्रोते समग्रा प्रारभ्यमेव 
ऐश्वर्य प्रसाद सौभाग्य आरोग्य संपद स्तृहा परो मोक्षते सान किम जनय ओम दिस पर्टिकुलर राइन दिस इति दिव्या स्त्रोत्र संपूर्ण दिस इज नॉट टू बी रेड एनीथिंग दैट इज रेड इन स्मॉल लेटर्स दिस इज नॉट टू बी रेड दो मार्कंडे वाच इन द स्टार्टिंग यू कैन रीड दैट्स ऑल अप टू यू नाउ इन सप्तशती ऑल स्त्रोत्र ऑल द श्लोकास ऑफ सप्तशती चंडी पाठ कैन बी रेड एज अ मंत्रा आल्सो कैन बी रेड सेपरेटली एज अ मंत्रा एज वेल and the first mantra of the kilakam this om shuddha gyana deha yo trivedi divya chakshu se sreya prapta nimittaya namah so mar dharane this also can be chanted separately as a mantra what does it mean this is a mantra for lord shiva because namah so mar dharane salutations to the one who is having moon on his forehead who is having moon on his forehead lord shiva so this is a mantra for lord shiva om shuddha gyana deha ya give me clear knowledge त्रिवेद दिव्य चक्षु से है हु हैव थ्री वेदास एज हिज थ्री आईज ऋग्वेद सामवेद यजुर्वेद आर कंसिडर्ड थ्री वेदास अथर्वेद इज नॉट कंसिडर्ड अ वेदा बाय फ्यू एज फॉर दैट श्रेय प्राप्त निमित्ताय श्रेय प्राप्त निमित्ताय मीन्स द वन हु गिव श्रेयस हु गिव बेनिफिशियंस ऑस्पिशियसनेस टू देयर डेवोटी तो दिस पर्टिकुलर मंत्र ओम शुद्ध ज्ञान देहाय त्रिवेद श्रेय प्राप्त निमित्ताय नम सोमार्थ धारणे दिस मंत्र इफ यू रीड वन जीरो एट टाइम्स एवरी डे ऑन द नाइन डेज ऑफ नवरात्रि और एवरी डे इन योर लाइफ दिस विल गिव यू विशुद्ध ज्ञान देहाय क्रियल नॉलेज त्रिवेद दिव्य चक्षु से एंड द नॉलेज ऑफ द वेद सो पीपल हु आर इन द फील्ड ऑफ नॉलेज टीचिंग रीडिंग राइटिंग इफ दे डू दिस मंत्र इट इज वेरी बेनिफिशियल फॉर those who are having problem related to learning remembering or any other such problems they do these mantra then also it is highly beneficial and most importantly triveda divya chakshu se three vedas are the three eyes now which is the what is the eye of the veda jyotish so if one wants to progress in astrology one wants to learn astrology one wants to know learn understand memorize realize the tatva of astrology doing this mantra is highly beneficial so anyone who is learning astrology or who want to practice astrology learn astrology if you chant this mantra once or eight times every day or 27 times every day or 11 times every day it will be highly beneficial for you if you ask me a mantra to learn astrology a mantra which is essential for astrologers the mantra which should be considered as an astrology learning mantra i will recommend you this mantra 100% of the time always so if you want to progress in any field of education and knowledge want to gain any type of knowledge want to gain proficiency in any type of knowledge chanting this mantra will be highly beneficial this is tried and tested over time so this you have to very clearly understand right next line it says that whatever trouble is being created in the siddhi of siddhi of mantra accomplishment of mantra siddhi of mantra when the mantra starts working for you when the mantra starts showing you result when you start getting the result that is prescribed for the mantra it is told that mantra have got siddhi right that mantra will get siddh only after utkilan is done and through this stotra utkilan is done right this is told in the second line and it is told that this utkilan stotra should be known not only this this kilakam this devi kilakam because devi represents a shakti mantra is a form of shakti mantra produces shakti also if you don't know utkilan of any mantra you can benefitingly use this sutra for utkilan of any mantra at all so if you just chant this kilak stotram at the start of your puja every day it will make sure that all the mantras you chant whether it belongs to goddess or some other deity will become utkilit and will give you 100% results that is to be very clearly understood right 
chanting this kilakam also makes you have the blessings of goddess durga as well this is to be right one more thing is there that the result of mantra chanting because it is not utkilit this is kilit the result of mantra chanting can fade over time because of this particular reason one will have to keep chanting mantra always but if you chant mantra after doing it pilam then what happens even if you chant mantra for one year only you enjoy the result for the lifetime and you enjoy result for the lifetime even for the less number of chanting of the mantra because the mantra becomes utkilit after this stutra the result is enjoyed for a longer period of time this is the speciality of this utkilan mantra now one thing is there सो अपी क्षेम अमवापनोति सर्वमेव न संशय कृष्णायां वा चतुर्दश्या मष्टां व्याम वा समाहितः तदाति प्रतिग्रहाति नन्य तैसा प्रसीदति दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग इज देयर इट इज टोल्ड दैट कृष्णायां वा चतुर्दश्या मष्टां व्याम वा समाहितः ऑन चतुर्दशी और अष्टमी ऑफ कृष्ण पक्ष इफ अ डेवोटी गिव्स एवरीथिंग devotes everything that they possess to goddess durga and then start using things with a firm thought in their mind that all the things that i am enjoying is because of the blessings of goddess only all the things that i am enjoying is given by the goddess only then goddess becomes highly beneficial highly you know highly merciful on the person and that person always enjoy the blessings of goddess so in nutshell this stotra is telling you that in the chaturdashi or ashtami of krishna paksh you should take all your wealth you say all the jewelry that you have that you take and all the money of course you cannot take because people have it in banks so little bit of money little bit of jewelry or all the jewelry that you have in home all the resources that you can have in that you have in home take all those jewelry and little bit of money take a idol or photo of goddess durga and in front of that idol or photo on krishna chaturdashi or krishna ashtami best time is around midnight right between 10 in the night to 2 in the morning that is the best time take all the jewelry and the little bit of money that you have and place it in front of the idol or photo of goddess durga and sincerely pray to her that all the money and all the resources that i have goddess i give all of it to you this all belongs to you only it does not belong to me it is only through your blessings that i am having it and i am enjoying it do this prayer worship goddess durga how to worship goddess durga and other uh, other things what is to be used in the worship what stotras etc can be chanted that i have been telling on my youtube channel so in future also i will keep on telling so using these procedures you worship a goddess and after that worship keep a very firm thought in your mind that whatever i am getting whatever i am enjoying it is happening because of the blessings of goddess only after that every time you make a profit thank a goddess always remember goddess before spending anything before using anything thank goddess and always keep it in mind that whatever i am getting i am getting because of goddess if i am not getting something maybe the goddess does not want me to have it keep this faith very clear very firm in your mind and i can guarantee you that your resources and wealth will never extinguish will never end it will keep on replenishing over and over again and you will have more than what you need desire have no end but more than need you will have surely 100% that is very clear right that is very very clear this have to be very clearly understood ittam rupena kilena mahadevena kilitam yo nisgilam vidhayainam nittam japti sanskritam sa siddha sa gana so api gandharvo jayate nara the one who reads this stotra with loud voice while speaking while loudly speaking the one who reads this stotra 
the one who see it is told later in the stotra also sunesto japya mane asmin strotah sampatrichkah bhavatyava samagrapi tatah prarabh mev tat the one who chants the stotra with low tone with low voice gets a low result the one who reads the stotra with high pitch high sound gets high result reading stotra in mind only should not be done mantra should be chanted in mind stotra should be chanted with loud voice right so this is the basic one the louder you chant the stotra greater results you will get it is told in this particular shloka number 30 now it is told that whoever reads this kila stotra with high pitch that person becomes siddh that person becomes accomplished in all the mantras they are chanting sa gana that person becomes the gana gana means family member or the army member of the gods here goddess gandharvo jayate nara and that person becomes gandharv that person becomes a residence of swarg right now becoming a residence of swarg becoming a gun of a deity becoming a siddh is increase of power position status these are one of the highest positions that humans can attain so by the way of this it is also told that if one reads this kilak stotram with high pitched sound one gets high position in life as well so if you are wanting to get a promotion good job high position high status in life and if if there is any obstacle or obstruction coming in your life then you read kilak stotra thrice every day with a pledge that goddess please give me power status authority or whatever and keep on doing it till you get it and i firmly believe that you will get it as soon as possible if you do this this is to be very clearly na chaiva patas tasse bhayam ko api hai jayate na mrtyu vasam yati mrto moksha mava punyat the one who reads this kilak stotram of goddess durga even if he roams in this complete world he gets no fear at all he never gets untimely death he never gets attacked by animals wounds facing enemies or anti social elements never happen with that person mrto moksha mava punyat and after that the person gets emancipation as well yatva prarabh kurvid na kurvano vinashyati the one who knows about kilak and reads दुर्गा सप्तशती आफ्टर रीडिंग कीलक ओनली दैट पर्सन गेट्स सिद्धि ऑफ दुर्गा सप्तशती ऑन द अदर हैंड द वन हु डज नॉट नो अबाउट कीलक एंड द वन हु रीड्स दुर्गा सप्तशती विदाउट रीडिंग कीलक डिस्ट्रॉयज हिमसेल्फ राइट दैट इज द पर्टिकुलर रीजन संपन्न मित्र प्रारंभ थे बुद्ध है दैट इज द पर्टिकुलर रीजन दैट इंटेलिजेंट पीपल रीड कीलक before reading durga shapta right this is to be understood sova gyadi cha yad kinchit drishyate lalnagane tat sarvam tat prasadena tena japya midam subham whatever good fortune good luck is seen in women etc that is all because of the blessings of goddess lakshmi only now see fortune of women traditionally it is considered that having a loving husband a caring husband a good family supportive husband supportive family being rich having good wealth resources sufficient food food to eat good behavior from family members respect from people in the society etc are the traits of sulakshana nari good natured good qualified woman so this kilak stotram is highly beneficial for women any woman who is facing disrespect humiliation not getting loved by her husband there is problem in marital life or any type of disrespect or dishonor is happening with any woman if that lady chants this kilak stotra nine times every day i can guarantee that she will soon get saubhagya and as a result of saubhagya she will be listened heard and respected by everyone around her her husband will love her dedicated devoted to her will become like her servant the chanting should be with utmost devotion for woman and for anyone to get so bhag good luck good fortune kelak stotram is super miraculous remedy 
very miraculous remedy that is to be understood and for saubhagya nine times chanting every day is highly recommended right ashwaryam yat prasadena saubhagya arogya sampada sitrohani paro moksha stute sanakim jane ashwaryam ashwaryam is influence saubhagyam good fortune arogya arogya means good health sampada sampada means wealth resources sitrohani loss of enmity not loss of enemy loss of enmity paro moksha and emancipation happens as a result of this stotra so one who wants one who have bad ninth house big ninth lord one who suffers misfortune they want to become fortunate he like stotram super miraculous remedy one who wants to increase their name fame status influence he like stotram is very good those suffering from diseases wanting good health he like stotram is very good those suffering financial troubles want financial freedom wants more wealth you want promotion you want increase in your salary kilak stotram is very good you want to end enmity get rid of enmity get rid of competition you want to win over your enemies kilak stotram is ultimate remedy you want moksha kilak stotram is ultimate remedy nine times chanting for the nine days of navratri or three times chanting every day over the kilak stotram you do if you are doing it only in navratris then you do nine times chanting in the nine days of navratri till the next navratri comes you see how your life is changing next navratri you will have to do it again otherwise the results will perish and once you make promise to god you don't fulfill it it gives you great trouble so don't do that if you are doing it in navratri you have to make sure you keep on doing it every now otherwise three times chanting every day and all of these results that i have told you you will have for sure 100% these remedies are super miraculous remedies these remedies are tried and tested over time these remedies are the remedies given by our great sages it have the power of their words it have the power of hinduism world's most oldest religion and it is bound to come true have 100% faith in the stotra in the goddess and the result will be there for sure namaste